All right, guys, so on your tables, you should have a tray that has all of your materials. There is going to be a piece of aluminum foil, a spoon, a cup, and a pack of Model Magic, and a toothpick. So these are the materials we're using today. We are actually going to start by taking our ball of aluminum foil and our cup. So go ahead and grab one of those pieces for me. And we are going to take the aluminum foil and we're going to create a ball. All right, so you're just gonna take it, ball it up. You want to make this ball, okay? Small enough that it can kind of move and wiggle within your cup. So you don't want it to be um, so full that um, it fills it up. So if you need to crunch it a little bit smaller, you can. So it should be able to fit directly in that cup, okay? Once you've done that, I want you to set that aside and then grab a pack of Model Magic. So our entire project is only going to use this one pack. The first thing we're gonna do is open it up. I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors to open that. And pull our Model Magic out. Your trash is going to go in the trash can at your table so that we don't have to worry about that. And then we are going to use about three quarters of our Model Magic for our ice cream scoop. The other quarter is going to be for our whipped cream and our cherry. So you can do this with your hands. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to just cut that off. I'm gonna set the smaller portion aside and we are going to start coloring the color for our ice cream scoop. So you may choose the color you want. You have your markers on your table. So for my example, I made strawberry ice cream. So I used a pink marker, okay? You may choose that color, you know, chocolate, brown marker would make sense, um, strawberry, pink marker. Um, for this example, I'm actually going to use green and make what looks kind of like mint ice cream, like a mint chocolate chip, all right? So notice the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking that and I am flattening it out into a slab on my table. I'm going to grab the color marker that I want and I'm going to color the top of my Model Magic slab with the color that I want. Now you could potentially use more than one color and create a marbled look. You just would not mix it up as much. Now I've colored the top of this. I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to color the top again. I'm getting a decent amount of color. Next, I'm gonna kind of fold that over and I'm going to squish it together, kind of kneading. Now, if you want to create a kind of marbled look, you could simply leave it like this. You can kind of see how mine is marbled. If you want the entire thing to be one color, you are going to continue adding more color. So I want mine to have a nice green tint. So I'm going to continue to knead and mix it up. You can see the color starting to come out. Now, if you want your color to be darker than what you currently have, you can flatten this back out into a slab and do the same process over again. I personally think that this green is a perfect mint ice cream color. So I'm going to simply use this, but you decide for yours. When you're done, please make sure that you close your marker back up. And then once you have your desired color with your model magic, we are going to flatten out a slab again. And we're going to take our ball of aluminum foil, set it down in the middle, and we're going to stretch and fold our Model Magic over it, kind of like you're 
folding a blanket over it. The goal is for no aluminum foil to show. So if the Model Magic kind of rips, that's okay. Just move a little bit more Model Magic, maybe where it's a little thicker into the area until you get the entire thing covered like you see here. Now, as I see you doing this, I'm going to be coming around with a little bit of chocolate syrup. Our chocolate syrup is really just a little bit of tempera paint and glue that is mixed together. But I'm going to come around and inside of your cup, I'm going to add a little drizzle. This is going to help us keep our Model Magic, um, our ball of ice cream inside of our cup. So once you have received your chocolate syrup, you're simply going to place your ice cream scoop inside of your cup, just like you see here, okay? Then set that aside and grab your smaller piece of Model Magic. Now, this is going to be used for both our whipped cream and our cherry. So, taking about a quarter of that and setting it aside for our cherry, we're going to use this first bit for our whipped cream. To make the whipped cream, you are simply going to roll a coil. A coil is a long, thin strand, kind of looks like a snake. To do that, you use the palm of your hand and roll it over the table back and forth. If you see that it starts to get thinner in one area, that means that you are using your palm and rolling in one area too long. Notice that my hand is going back and forth from one side to the other until I get a coil that is as thick or thin as I want. So it looks, when I'm done, kind of like a long snake. Now, I'm going to coil this up like a little bit of whipped cream. I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to actually pull this piece up just a little bit so that it is facing up. And then I'm going to twirl my coil around and around until I get what looks like a dollop of whipped cream. Now, if you do this and you don't like it, you can simply just ball it back up and roll a new coil until you get the look of whipped cream that you want. Now, you wanna make sure that you have exactly what you want because once we stick our whipped cream to our ice cream scoop, it will not come back off, okay? So again, coil our whipped cream up until we get that desired look. All right, you can stretch it out if you want to. And then once you have the look that you want, and again, be careful, making sure that everything is exactly what you want before you stick it down, you're just going to choose where to put that on your ice cream scoop, all right? Now, I will be coming around and giving you guys some more chocolate syrup on top, as well as some sprinkles. But while I'm doing that, we're going to work with our cherry. So for our cherry, you're gonna take that last little bit and we're going to flatten out a little slab just like we did with our ice cream scoop. And you are going to grab your red marker and color the surface. Now, with this one, your hands are going to get a little messy. You're gonna end up with a little bit of red marker stain on your fingers and that's okay what we have baby wipes for because we want this to be a little bit darker red. So if I were simply to use the same process I did before with kneading it up, I'm going to end up with just a pink cherry. We want this to be a nice red color. So I'm going to start with my pink and then I'm going to roll a ball in between my hands and then I'm going to color the outside edge with my red marker. This is going to get that red color much darker. So I'm simply coloring the outside edge. Again, because we're not kneading this up, you're going to end up with red on your fingers. So don't be surprised.
All right. So I have my red cherry. I'm going to just roll that back into a ball. And I'm going to choose where on my cup I want to set it. I'm going to set mine right over here to the side of my whipped cream. And then you're going to grab your toothpick. You have a choice of a red or a green. If you want the red to be a little bit darker, you can simply color the outside edge. Same with the green, okay? But really, they're already red. And then you are simply going to take and stick it through the center. You're going to have to push it a little bit through the tin foil. That's gonna kind of hold everything together so that you end up with a stem on your cherry. So at this point, if I have not gotten to you, I will be coming by to give you your chocolate syrup. We're just going to drizzle that over the top. And we're going to add our sprinkles. Sprinkles will stick to that paint and glue mixture. Oh, and I think I want to add just a little bit more as I turn it to the side. I'm going to add a little bit more chocolate sauce and a few more sprinkles. And the last step to this, making it look a little bit more realistic. Of course, we've got to have a spoon. All right, guys. With that, we are completely finished with our Wayne Tebow project. I cannot wait to see these. Good job.